You, you mentioned the 2008. So, you know, gold crashed along with stocks. I think what got down to 1450 or 1500-ish or something like that. Um, but it recovered really quickly. I think it took six, seven months to get back to its previous high as stocks took six, seven years. Um, but, you know, that seemed like it was a response to, um, you know, the, the, the $700 billion TARP bailout and then the QE that resumed or, um, after that. Um, and we saw maybe just, uh, you know, one or two trillion pushed it from 1500 to, to 1900. Um, now we have 8 trillion. And so uh, we're, we're not even be able to get past to the high we set in uh, 2011 with, with one or $2 trillion printed. I mean, if, yeah, if gold want, was ever going to work, it should work now. Right. Yeah. I want to correct one thing. The, the balance sheets really only grown. Um, I you lose track of numbers, but we're up to 8 trillion. It, you know, it started in March, 2020 at wherever we were three and a half trillion. So it's not up 8 trillion. It's up, um, you know, four trillion probably. So that, that's a um, that's but, a blend of but, of fiscal and monetary. Oh, okay, yeah, but yeah. It, it, yeah, I, I mean, I think that money is going to have influence. I mean, it's certainly what's driving um, the inflation with a lag, and I do think we have more than transitory inflation here. So that's, I mean, that's my story in terms of the bust is that I think inflation does become a real problem later this year. And so a lot of this is also the lags. Monetary policy um, needs to move through to a point where it does drive the inflation. And we're getting to that inflection point, I think, where it's going to become problematic probably by the end of the summer. Yeah. So inflation is not transitory. <laughs> inflation uh, is here. Think so. <laughs> yeah. There's some of it is. I mean, for sure, the Fed's not just um, pushing out a narrative to, to give them room to print. I, I think there really is some that is supply chain oriented and can go away uh, once you know things get cleared up. We really had a situation where for many years, the industrial side of the economy worldwide was not the driving element, it was the consumer. And here in, you know, here in the last year and a half with, with all the money that's been printed, not just by the Fed, but by central banks around the world and everything going on, you know, in Europe and China and the US and Canada, Australia, et cetera, it's all come together to push out this, this huge demand for, for materials. And yet the materials companies had, had kind of ratcheted down their capacity because they never thought they were gonna see that kind of demand again. So right. we've had this big ramp up in demand and the companies are just not able to produce to meet that demand. That ramp up will at some point slow down and they can catch up somewhat. So, so I, that part of it is transitory, but ultimately I, I, you can label it transitory or, or whatever they want to. If inflation really starts to heat up even more um, by fall, I don't think Fed can just say, hey, we have, you know, we're just gonna bank on our faith that it's transitory. I think they're gonna have to react which means tightening. Okay.